A $25 million plan is on the horizon to address the more than 1,000 homeless people who live alongside the American River Parkway. Yeah, it was set in motion this morning after Sacramento County announced they are receiving the funds from the state budget. ABC 10's Roxanne Elias is live on the parkway to explain, Roxanne. Chris, we're told that that 25 million will go towards housing and services for all the people that live out here alongside the river, but there are still many details that need to be worked out. I was one of the ones digging holes, accumulating garbage, doing methamphetamine every day. For more uh, than eight years, Tracy user, Knickerbocker so called the American River Parkway her home. According to Sacramento County's Department of Human Assistance, she is only one of an estimated 1,500 other people who live there. Some of the homeless here, they, they don't have water, they don't have bathroom, uh, they don't have trash, um, they don't have safety. You know, it's dangerous out here. Not just for the unhoused, but for those who enjoy the parkway. And Sacramento County and its leaders are taking notice. Assembly members uh, Ken Cooley and Kevin McCarty, uh, through their leadership, were able to secure uh, 25 million uh, out of the current state budget and that 25 million is going to be used uh, by the county of Sacramento uh, to help protect what's in back of me. But they're not just looking to push people out of the parkway. Instead, the county wants to help them with housing and services, which in turn will help restore the parkway. What will that look like? Well, it's still up in the air. Probably something that we're going to look at in terms of site acquisition for uh, things like tiny homes, um, you know, giving people uh, different um, options in terms of our continuum of care. As to where we could see this happening. They will probably be adjacent to the parkway. Um, the County Board of Supervisors is working on that. Um, we gave them state money to, to do this work. And he's promising we'll see progress in the very near future so they can support others like Tracy Knickerbocker, who says it was because of advocates offering her services that she was able to dig herself out of a hole. For my personal experience, I had to feel like I mattered. I had to feel like it was important for me. McCarthy says that the County Board of Supervisors will be holding hearings in the next couple of weeks and they will try to find some of those locations and of course fund those efforts. Chris and Laura back to you. Yeah, still a lot of moving parts there. We'll be tracking it. Roxanne, thank you.